Welcome, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EET 121 Digital One. Okay, we're going to discuss binary numbers. Um, binary numbers, okay, similarities between them and decimal numbers. Decimal numbers, uh, position is still indicative of weight. However, we've only got two digits now, except from, except uh, rather than zero to nine. So, decimal, we had zero to nine. Binary, we got zero to one. Okay, so in decimal, counting from zero to nine, what do you do? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same thing in binary. Zero, one. Boom, I'm done. Okay, now what happens in decimal? you have to add a second position there. So one zero. So 10, 11, 12 through 13, etc., etc., up to 99. Now you gotta add a third position, 100, all the way up to 9999. Nine, nine, nine. And then you add a fourth position, 1000. You guys get it, etc. Same thing in binary. Das binary. Okay, so zero to one, that's easy. Now we have to add a second position. One, zero. Count up, one, one. Add another position, one, zero. Count up, one, 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 one. Get it? So same thing is we're just, we're just basically adding a position anytime we, we run out of digits, okay? So if we do this, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's decimal. Counting in binary, zero, that's easy. One, that's easy. Okay, we ran out of digits, so we gotta add one more. One, zero. One, one. Ran out of digits, gotta add one more. One, zero, zero. One, zero, one. One, one, zero. One, one, one. Ran out of digits. Add one more. Same thing. Just counting through straight through. Um, so we noticed we get to let's say seven. So to count to seven decimal, it took three digits in binary. And there's kind of a formula to do. Is basically for the largest number. The largest decimal number that you can express with a given number of bidget, uh, bits, geez, bits, <laughs> bits, n, bits, n. So it's two to the n minus one. So um, eight bits. What's the largest decimal number you can express with eight bits? So eight bits. So 2 to the 8 minus 1. And on your calculator, you could do 2 carat 8. Get that answer, minus 1. You're going to get 255. So that's the largest decimal number you can express with 8 bits is 255. But are there 255 positions? No, because there is a 0 in there too. So there's 256 positions. Because zero is included. But you can ex the maximum did the maximum decimal number you can express is two fifty five. So two different questions. Same thing, two different questions. Okay. So our book, um well the book that we're using for right now is uh Digital uh, Fundamentals of Digital with uh, VHDL. Uh, we may be using a different edition book for uh, later courses, but right now in uh, spring 2000, excuse me, fall 2009, we're using this. So, anyways, in this particular version of the book we're using is on page 53. It's a diagram very similar to this, where it's got the tennis balls falling off a conveyor belt and a counter and a decoder. Um, there's something uh, there's something interesting about this thing is um, they actually have the, they show the propagation of single signals backwards where the ninth ball is in front of the eighth which is in front of the first. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and draw this uh, freehand. Hopefully this will you'll uh, understand um, where I'm going with this one. It's uh, you, you'll see here. Basically, if we think this time is basically is propagating this way, a signal 
Oh, well, first off, there's a sensor here. And any time a tennis ball goes through this plane here, um, sends a, a pulse on this thing, which is fed into a counter. And what that counter does is, okay, it sends out these uh, this signal uh, on these four lines, which, if we remember right, is a parallel uh, means of data distribution. And it sends it to a decoder, which goes to a seven-segment seg uh, seven display. And it's going to display how many how many balls have come through. Okay, now ball zero. There's there's no no balls being sent. So there's no whether well, there's basically zero on both these lines that's being sent out. Zero zero zero. And those signals are going to propagate in this direction. So that means zero 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 is received by the decoder, and boom zero is displayed on the counter. Okay. Now, the um, first ball goes through. Oh, dang it. And this pulse here is received by the counter and it says one right there. Now that signal, see now you can see what's going on in uh, the diagram. It's, it's representing this position. It's representing zero, ball zero, one, two, three, up to nine. Yeah, that doesn't work, guys. They don't go backwards in time. It has to be this way. That was zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? Let me neaten that up. Okay, how's that look? Um, Again, so we are going to draw our signal for zero, and it was sent over here, zero, 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 and it's propagating along our line till it's, uh, dang it, received over here as zero, 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 and the decoder displays the zero. Got it? Now, the first ball comes in, and it sends a signal to the counter. And it says one, and again, it's generated over here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna draw it like it's propagated along this line. So it says one, zero, zero, zero. Oh, by the way, um, this is the least significant bit on this side. This is the most significant bit. We'll go into those a little bit later. So just think of this as the lowest number. Okay. Now the second ball comes in. Remember how we counted here? So we've got to one. But now we've got to go to there, so we've got to add a secondary uh, secondary position. How you do that, it's 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so now you get to 3. It's 1, 1, 0, 0. How you get to 4 is 1 there, 5. Six, seven is zero, one, 